Hi, social media. I'm back. Um, as I think you all know, I have been in this working circle uh, reading Mean White Supremacy. And the way a working circle works is you, everyone in the group trades off who leads. And I'm leading tonight. Sorry, this is really shaky. Um, I'm leading tonight. And um, I've been doing a lot of work around what I want to share, what I want to bring to the group. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on actually the content of the racism work. Um, but what started coming up for me is applicable in literally all areas of my life. And I wanted to share it. Um, it's around fear. And when I am constellating my life around fear what I'm really just doing it's a it's a subconscious effort for me to control to dominate or to avoid domination essentially a way to control the situation um and the control I mean it's like chicken of the eye the control right is because I have a fear um but when I'm operating from fear. I'm not showing up as me and what I'm committed to and in my full power. And instead of using fear as a block, well, something I've recently been practicing is acknowledging the fear, saying it, not shaming that it's there because that's only going to double down. We've all been there. Um, but just saying it. Um, I'm someone that suffers from anxiety. That's a new term for me to own. Um, but when it shows up, oftentimes I'm, it's like I'm experiencing the anxiety, but I also am ashamed of what is causing the anxiety. Like I'm embarrassed. I'm like, this is such a dumb thing to be anxious about. And one thing I've really been practicing is owning it. So I've been practicing saying out loud to my fiance, Michael, I am anxious. Here's what I'm feeling in my body. Here's what has caused this anxiety, even if it's a little embarrassing. And here's what I need. And what I've noticed is that owning the fear doesn't take it away at all, but it allows me to move past it. It's like, okay, the fear is there, but now what? And when I don't just own it, when I don't say it, when I don't acknowledge it, I get stuck with it. So when I acknowledge the fear or the anxiety or whatever is coming up and I, and I allow it to be there, but I can move past it, then I can move to constellating around commitment. And then I'm back to my core power, my core essence, and really what, um, what I'm up to. So, um, you know, it's a little meta when I'm, I think I said that in my last video, when I'm committed to is commitment, but, um, fear is going to be there. We're human beings. Anxiety is going to be there. Deep, deep held beliefs that hold us back are always going to be there, but acknowledging it, saying it out loud, being able to move past it and connect right back into my commitment is what allows me to keep going and showing up powerfully. Just a little tidbit. And um, a sneak peek for any of you who's in my working circle, what we are going to discuss tonight. Thanks, social media.